The jury found Suzanne guilty of first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit first-degree murder, which was the right verdict. The evidence all clearly pointed to her involvement and significant involvement in the death of Frank Schaff. She was sentenced to life without parole, plus 20 years on the conspiracy consecutive. So in essence, she was given life plus 20 years. Terry was charged, I believe, before Suzanne. He was going to just, you know, plead guilty that he did it by himself. And then when he changed his mind, they agreed to drop the first degree murder to third degree, which meant that he wouldn't get the life sentence anymore. And the maximum would be 20 to 40 years. Nothing's changed. I mean, you know, I, I still love him. He's still my nephew. Um, sometimes I understand what he did, but I also know what he did was wrong. So I still struggle with wanting to accept the fact that he did it out of the goodness of his heart, which I know is still wrong because you don't kill somebody out of the goodness of your heart. The trial was more so for Suzanne than Terry. Um, I don't think Terry got a trial. Um, Suzanne's, she was a trip during the whole thing. She laughed at, the, at everything. She, to us it looked like she was having a party. I honestly believe she thought she was going to get off. And she didn't. We're very satisfied and pleased with our verdicts, but when you just take a look, you know, it, it is very, it, it's sad. It's very sad. Sad to think about, you know, his son growing up without a father. Um, that's that's the, the tough stuff. That's the stuff that gets you. And um, that's why we do why we do our job. We we deliver justice. We can't ever make anyone whole, and that's something I wish we could. I think Frank should be remembered as a great man. He, from my understanding, he always helped anyone. He was just like Terry. Anybody that needed anything, he would help them. It's sad that Frank is gone. It's very sad. But this is a twisted way to say it, but at least he's not under her control anymore. My thoughts about her children are, I pray for them that one day they would see how much their mother loves them. I, I pray that they know how much Suzanne loves them with all her heart. And I hope that one day they will come to visit her. What I miss about Frank is the friendship. You know, I'm older than them, but they took me in and they treat me like I was, you know, the same age as them. They didn't have the age difference. They didn't care. They don't care about numbers. We all had a good time. We all hung out together, whether it was at my place or at Frank and Suzanne's place. You know, that's what made everything work. We all just bonded together at the beginning. And then she broke that bond and you can't get it back. You can't get it back when one's dead and they're alone in prison. It's gone. It was a slaughterhouse. It's a complete bloodbath. Was the troubled teen to blame? An unstable foster child snapped.